Hey everybody, happy Friday. Hey, I wanted to just pop on here real quick and share something with you that uh, I had happen this afternoon. And uh, I'm speaking specifically to all of the ladies in my tribe, uh, especially if you're in Atlanta or anywhere near Atlanta within driving distance, because this is one of the reasons I would love to see you at the Women's Financial Empowerment Workshop in Atlanta on June 9th. More on that in a second. But um, today I met a woman and she was asking me some questions and shared with me a situation with a, uh, an older couple that are very dear to her, like family. And turns out that the husband and wife uh, were caregivers for a number of children throughout their lifetime, their married life. And the husband was the one that worked and uh, brought in the income. And the wife was the stay-at-home mom. Uh, they fostered and adopted many children. And so she never worked in a traditional job and had her own income, therefore had no work credits for her own individual social security benefit. And the woman was asking me some questions about that because really social security is pretty confusing for a lot of people. Uh, Medicare is even more confusing. And so what this turned into was a conversation about how the husband and wife, he's 70, she's 69, did not know that the wife could draw a social security benefit off of her husband's work record when she didn't have her own. Now you might be saying, what, how could you not know that? But I will tell you, this is something I run into on a pretty regular basis. Um, people don't really understand how the system works. And so as a result, uh, over the period of what would have been about three years, she, she could have been collecting 50% of the benefit he collects without him getting any less on his, they lost tens of thousands of dollars in benefits that they could have been collecting because they didn't know what they didn't know. So they couldn't possibly ask the right questions. And trust me, Social Security is not volunteering any extra information and giving away any more money. And they just didn't know. And so as a result of that, she hasn't been collecting a benefit that she could have been collecting for the last nearly three years. But the good news is now she can. And so they are about to increase their household income by half of his. So that's 150% instead of 100% that they're now gonna be getting. And she's gonna be able to go back and get six months of back um, benefit that she hasn't gotten. She can't go back the whole three years and collect all of it, but she can go back and get six months and that's gonna be a few thousand dollars for them. And so that is the power of talking to somebody who works in this field and knows how to navigate the very confusing waters, the, the, the tangled web of all of the financial pieces that you need to look at for your life now and in the future. And so I would love to help clear the fog for a lot of people. I'd love to introduce you to some of the concepts of what you don't know that you don't know so we can get you to ask the right questions and end up in the best possible place for you as the years go by. So please join me on June 9th, moneymasterywomen.com is where you'll go to register. We're gonna have coffee and treats when you arrive, a fabulous workshop with a lot of amazing women. People leave the workshop feeling empowered and like they get a whole bunch of new girlfriends. And then we're going to wrap the whole thing up with dinner and footnote, it's my birthday weekend. So we are going to have a little celebration at the end also, but I would really love to have you there and really help you navigate the murky waters of the financial things that play into your future and your retirement and make sure that you don't outlive your money and make sure that you don't leave any money on the table that you could be getting. So please join me, moneymasterywomen.com. I really look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.